The first peace festival in Leamington was held in 1978 and envisioned as a non-political, non-profit making event that would appeal to everybody and promote conservation, brotherhood and world peace. It was called the Leamington Festival of International Understanding and Peace. It is doubtful if the organisers of that first festival imagined that it would still be on the calendar 25 years later, albeit renamed the Leamington Peace Festival. However, it is remarkable just how many of those original faces can still be seen behind stalls at the event today. I was chair of the committee for uh, the best part of 10 years. We were involved in the festival from 1979 to 88. 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. I think it was 88, 87, I can't remember, as a long time ago. The previous committee, they resigned en masse after 10 years and we thought, we can't let the festival die! Uh, well, I organise all the stalls. That means I contact everybody who wants to have a stall each year, uh, send them a form out, and when the forms come in, I cash the cheques, and then organise a plan where they're all going to go. And then over the weekend, I sort out all the problems that have arisen because I've done the plan wrong. <laughs> Freedom from the inside up, heal down every home you gotta keep up, gotta keep up, gotta keep up or give it up, keep up or give it up. You are my free base, you are my free base, you are my free base line. I gotta rock till I drop till I drop. Oi, oi. Do you think the festival has changed uh, in the, in the, over its 25 year life? Uh, yes, insofar as we were very much a police state when we ran it. Uh, we had very rigid rules about who could and who could not uh, take part in the festival. For instance, our rule was that nobody was allowed to sell anything unless they were selling to promote their organisation. The only other people who were allowed to sell were people who were craftspeople who made their own stuff. So we had no, um, what shall I say, difficult to describe without being slightly pejorative, ethical tap unethical tap. It has changed a bit, yes. Um, it's, I mean, a lot of people said it's a lot more commercial, and in a way it is. Um, walking around today, I'm a little surprised at the numbers of organisations um, represented locally. Um, there are a lot of people that have come further afield, but they're not probably quite so many local voluntary organisations as there have been in the past. Um, it's grown. It's grown. Everything evolves, doesn't it, and changes slightly. So it's certainly not for the worst. It's bigger. It's a lot bigger. Um, the first one I came to was over 20 years ago. Uh, I wasn't obviously in the wrong organisation. I was still a schoolboy at the time, and I don't remember it as being very big at all. It was just uh, a group of refugees from the 60s sitting around listening to some dreadful music. I think the, what's great is the essential nature of funding it has stayed the same. We fund out of craft stores and out of uh, local organisations. So it has remained a free festival. That's the same. And I think the atmosphere has continued. And it's fantastic that my children are coming now after I've been you know, coming for 15, 16, 17 years. Um, and I think it hasn't changed that much to me. I think it's still very peaceful and we never have any trouble here. It's amazing. Hugely. It's become much more commercialised, but I do come here and buy things, so I can't complain about that. Really. <laughs> Okay.
Can I drive? And you know, while you run around and enjoy this lovely day and this lovely festival, don't forget, do not forget that this is entirely brought to you by volunteers. This is not a corporate event with big money behind it. This is entirely brought to you by volunteers. What do you like about the Peace Festival? Uh, meeting all my old friends. It's great to see all the people I know. Um, everyone's having a really good time and I feel kind of responsible for it, which is a lovely feeling to have. This festival is a really almost perfect mix of music and culture. I just love it. The best thing is that thrill you get when you drive past it on Friday and the tents are just going up and you just think, oh, it's happening again. I think it's got life and vitality, isn't it? I mean, at Leamington's quite a small town and something like this really shows sort of the diversity of society, which Leamington doesn't always show itself. Even though it's got it, it's under the covers and, and everyone, everyone comes out of the, out, out the closet in Peace Festival weekend. And it's got life, colour, it's got great food, clothes, everything. It's fun, isn't it? What else do I like? I just love it. I love the people. I love the fact that it's nearly always sunny. I love the smells. I love Barry over there. One year he had these great big Elizabethan trousers on and he was saying, um, um, Barry Patterson, the man in green with the biggest trousers you've ever seen. And it just stays with me. It's the highlight of my year. It makes what? Nine, nine, nine. Leamington the alternative place for once. Ten, ten, ten. Instead of this middle class, serene Regency town, it turns into this alternative festival once a year. And you meet all your mates that you never see for months. It's a real unique little festival. I don't know any other free festival like this. And it gets bigger and better every year. You meet people here that you only see here, you know, and there's all the nutters that, that it attracts, which is great. I absolutely love it. I see everybody I know, it's relaxed, it's chilled, there's music, there's creativity, there's just, I love it, it's people everywhere. I love it. I don't know any other festival quite like this one. And the music's good too. <laughs> What does the festival mean to those who attend year after year? It's, the Peace Festival is to me all about everybody do, getting together. It has a raison d'etre, it has a theme, which is great a mutual understanding and harmony in the world. And that dates from the 70s ideal and that ideal has never been lost. That ideal is still in action here. Anti-war feelings are very strong here. No animosity, kids from, you know, toddlers up to old age pensioners and they're all having a good time. It's about the planet. Uh, everyone here believes in a su sustainable environment that you can enjoy. And of course it has a commercial side, which is lovely because there are some really high quality stores here selling nice things and it's really nice to wander around and have a look around at everything. Good crafts work, crafts people, you know. So um, it's got a lot of dimensions, this festival, and they seem to have a pretty good balance, I reckon. And it allows all creeds, all people, the chance for a voice. And we hope, you know, you, you only hope that they will get something out of it. Uh, it's just amazing that it happens. It, it is a gift. Put it down, 
to experience Put it down to my hard luck A harmless way to pass in time A second on the clock Another notch upon my belt A name stamped in my book You say these things just happen when We leap before we look And I don't know where I stand And I don't know where I should sleep Can you tell me why, why are you at the Peace Festival? Well, we, we, we have a representation here every year and basically this is a great sort of uh, focus for the community to see that we're a local group working sort of internationally. But being a local group, they can get involved, they can contribute, they can help sign the petitions, fund our actions. And basically this is just a, a community event for us to be here and, and show ourselves. <laughs> Sum the peace festival up in three words: peace, love, and understanding. Fun, joy, educational, life, colour, people, celebration, environmental, diversity, culture, good fun. It is wonderful. Together in harmony. Togetherness. Wonderful, musical, diverse. Bloody good fun. I love you. Great fun every year. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see on your feet.